back to another edition of the Bucks Report. I'm Elizabeth Koblenz and I'm here once again with Coach Morgan. Um, the Bucks are coming off an unfortunate loss to a really talented Northridge team, but the overall improvement of the game was really huge. Can you just give us your thoughts on the players yeah. and the game? Uh, first half, I, th I thought we played our best football of the year. Um, and the cool thing is we said that every week, so like, you see, there's a trend going of that way. Um, but our first half, we, we, were, we, were, we played really good football. We moved the ball up and down the field the entire time. Um, our defense played played really well. There's just a, a couple of big plays um, that they scored on. Minus, then minus those explosive plays, our team, defense did a heck of a job. Uh, so first half, we played we played really well. Second half of football, uh, things got a little rough. Uh, we had some injuries, some kids go down, uh, and things kind of spiraled out of control a little bit. And, and the second half wasn't you know our, our best, but um, I think if you focus on the positives of the first half, it was a overall really good game by the boys. Yeah. Um, our defense played really, really well outside of the five plays that you know they scored on. Um, the defense was really physical and they're really aggressive all night. And what are your thoughts on the defensive performance? Yeah, I, I look at like a Garrett, I remember Garrett Listener pops up my head now. He had a handful of like just big plays, like just made the right read, shut the gap, and made a huge play. Um, and we, we, those, those are things we have not have, have, have happened yet this year where. Uh, our guys making like really big plays on crucial times, and you saw a lot of guys stepping up and making plays on defense. Uh, you, you have uh, Dale and Garrett said the same thing. Um, even like, Jordan Miller, uh, freshman, came in at, at free safety. Uh, same thing, made some, made some big plays too. Philip Mack and again, same, making huge plays at, at corner. So there's a lot of guys that are popping off making plays. Uh, it's just putting it all together. Yeah. So offensively, we had some really big plays. Derek Meyer ran really hard. Um, as I said, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, so offensively, we had some really big plays, and Derek Meyer ran extremely hard, and the offensive line opened up some holes for him. Uh, Dalen Garrett was another really great had another really great game, another really great game. <laughs> Landon Castle did really well overall. So, how do we feel about the offense? Uh, yeah, I mean, the three you mentioned were doing really well. Uh, I think Derek Meyer had his best game running the ball. Um, He's running hard. That's one of the things we've been preaching all year. Uh, from kind of, he's this is his first year playing running back, uh, so he's used to receiver. So if there's a change of how you run, the style of run, uh, and he's been working on it all year, and, and you're seeing that work pay off. And he had a phenomenal game on, on Saturday. Um, he's mentioned Landon Castle. Right. Um, oh, sorry, Friday. Yeah, um, Landon Castle. Um, same thing. Like it, his. Same, this is a second game as a starting quarterback right now, and it's for a freshman. It's a lot on your shoulders. And he did a heck of a job uh, reading. We, we, we have, have a lot of different stuff in our offense he's to do, and I thought he did a really good job of handling the pressure. Uh, and then, then Dalen, you know, he was doing what he does, and he made some big plays too as well. Yeah, he did. So we very rarely talk about our special teams, but Friday night they probably had their best performance of the season. Yeah. Um, Dalen Garrett had a kick return for a touchdown. Philip McMacken had, what, two? Two really good kicks. Um, so let's talk about special teams. Yeah, I mean, the, the obvious is, is David's touchdown. Uh, but the other things that people don't see, like our kickoff team, uh, the coverage of the kickoff team, we had two freshmen, uh, James Cuther and Jordan Miller, who came down and made a big, huge play uh, on a kickoff coverage team. Um, and that, yeah, that doesn't get as, you know, as big recognition as like the Dalen touchdown yeah. kind of stuff. But there's guys all across the special teams being special and making big plays. Uh, so like Dalen Garrett, obviously, with the, with the, the touchdown that they had. Um, and that goes to the guy, all the other ten guys in the field. That's uh, what happens when ten guys do their job the right way and follow the assignments and, and, and follow through. Uh, so he did. I thought he did a great job there. Big uh with the two field goals. I mean, yeah. I don't think we've had that yet here. Where we've had consecutive field goals. So uh, it was cool, cool to see that from him too yeah. as well. So this week we do play the defending conference champions, Milton. So can you give us some insight on what we're looking at this week? Yeah, Milton. Milton they're a heavy run team. Um, their identity is they're going to run the ball hard every play, um, and they do a good job of that. They've they've uh, they've beat some good teams. I mean, they're they're a solid program. Uh, they, they've been that way for a long time too. So it'll, it'll be a good challenge for our boys. Yeah. Well, that's all I have. Thank you. Next time or next, I will be here with some of our freshmen. I'm back with some freshmen on our team this year. Um, so these freshmen, well, before Parker got hurt, they all got a lot of varsity playing time this year. So let's just talk about like your experience being freshmen and getting a lot of varsity minutes. I'll start. Um, I think uh, the experience that we're getting is really helping us and it's going to build us and make us a better team in the future. 
like all the freshmen playing now are going to be so much better when they get to junior senior year. Yeah, it's been cha a big challenge, but we've already shown so much project progress. Well, I feel like it can be like a lot of pressure though at times being like asked to like go up against seniors, but it, we've been uh, <laughs> we've been doing well though about it. It's been a huge step, yeah. like from eighth grade to varsity starters. Oh yeah, that's crazy. The size difference is so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about Northridge. We played really, really good the first half, probably. I mean, honestly, very close to being the best we played all year. Um, let's talk about that. I think the first half, we had a lot of momentum going for us, and we just kept building on it. But then, like, the second half, they, we let a few, a few plays, and we just started going down. Yeah. I feel like we came out really well. Like, we came out, like, attacking. We weren't, like, laying back. We were going after them. And in the second half, we just started to fall from there. I think injuries was a big thing. Yeah. We just got to work on carrying the momentum over to the second half mm -hmm. in the future. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so let's talk about what we've been doing at practice this week to do that in this next game. Um, our practices have been short, so we've really been focusing on like little things to fix them and help us get better. Uh, the intensity and putting in putting in the actual work has been way like shown more in this week. I also feel like the guys who want to be there this week which had a lot of energy. Yeah. Um, you agree? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you guys are all freshmen. So let's talk about like how the like quote unquote leaders of the team and the upperclassmen have really helped you guys because you are on the field so much and you're it's a big step. Ever since we showed up in summer, I mean they've just showed us what the pace needs to be and we've just kind of built off that and they're still helping us learn our things now. Yeah. Yeah, they've pushed us so hard that like at the beginning we had an excuse we were young, but now we're on their level and they pushing us harder and harder each day. And they're like more coaches basically, like they're coach players, like they're teaching us every day how to get better and what to do. Yeah. Okay, so now the question that everybody has been wondering about, let's talk to Parker about his leg and how he is recovering. So, like I broke my table with it, obviously, and they put a rod in there, and I got screws everywhere, and Doc told me after I get my cast off, still not be able to walk on it, probably get a boot. And then I can't play sports until about two or three months after for physical therapy. So we're looking at what, January, February? January, February. All right. Well, that's all that I have for you guys today. So I'm Elizabeth Copeland with the Bucks Report. Good night and go, go Bucks! Bucks.